patient with a bizarre condition is on his way to see Chris. Hey! How you going, Neil? Yeah, I'm good, Neil. His bemused owner, Lee, was a vet nurse at Ziggy. the Bondi Ziggy. Clinic. Oh, what have we got happening here? Yeah, wow. he's got a, got a little something growing on his leg here. Wow. It's like almost, it sounds a bit funny, but like a third swinging in the wind there. It's just so big. It's uh, definitely one of the strangest things I've ever seen. People were just standing at the lights going, what the hell is that? <laughs> Makes you feel like a neglectful dad. Ziggy, come on, this way, boy. Come on, let's go. What the hell is that? This is a little something that's uh, been growing for a bit over a year, I think. A year? Yeah. How can you? Well, you know, it, it started off a little small and then what? just got, just kind of escalated a lot. And suddenly, since it's, it's got a lot bigger recently, the weight of it's... It's gotten a lot bigger, yeah. You can see the, the sheer volume. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious and maintain my professional integrity and all the while I'm just thinking, well, look at that thing. What is it? It is like a two-hour speedball, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. You could start at your own two-hour gym <laughs> and sit there just going... It is almost comical, but it, it could have a very serious side to it. You can actually see he has actually been banging in on things. Does he seem in pain with it? Does he ever yelp out with it? No, it doesn't. He never, never ever complains at all. While it looks like a cricket ball in a stocking, it feels like it's full of fluid, which to me is quite reassuring, because if it was just a mass of tissue, I'd be quite worried. The very real risk here is that that lump could actually get caught on something when Ziggy's walking past it. That'd be nasty. It's probably not going to surprise you too much when I say to you, this has to come off. Yeah, I was, I was actually hoping, hoping it would. I'll open it up once I've taken it off and, and have a quick look. Mm -hmm. But I guess the hope is that it isn't anything too serious. Okay. What do you reckon about that, Liesl? Um, I've seen them bigger. They get me bigger than that. <laughs> Maybe not on dogs. I can't say that on TV, can I? The gigantic mass hanging off Ziggy's back leg needs to be removed for his safety. I've seen plenty of lumps that have taken my breath away in terms of how big they are. But I've never seen one that could trip the dog over. It's, it's extraordinary. There is a risk that this is a tumour, but the way tumours, certainly nasty tumours, normally behave is that they invade into the body. This one is making a drastic attempt to get as far away from the body as possible. Mm. This is interesting. We've got the big vein coming along here, and it disappears once it hits this lump here, and then reappears after it. It's quite possible that whole lump is actually a blood vessel that, that's had a massive blowout and just continued to expand. And as more blood has come into it, it's got bigger and heavier and just started to drop, drop off the body. This might actually be a little bit more tricky than we thought. And the worry I've got now is that we've got a major blood vessel that I have to cut through and around. You get that wrong and it's going to be bloody mess. An enormous mass from Ziggy's leg. The problem is he has to navigate around a major blood vessel. I'm getting through a few small ones, but... Sort of the elephant in the room is that big vein that's still hanging out there. I'm just going to leave that to last. Anything this big is always going to have a really good blood supply. So if I even nick the big one, you guys will know about it. After an hour, Chris is becoming more confident the vein that was causing so much concern may not be attached to the cyst. So I think I can actually get the lump off without even having to cut into the vein, which is a bit of a blessing. There it is. Honestly, I'm actually quite relieved that operation's over because it was a lot more touch and go than I thought it would be. Samples of the mass will be sent to the lab to make sure it's not cancerous. Ziggy, meanwhile, will be staying at the clinic for a sleepover. You wait until you see what I've done to you. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Are you ready to go to bed? 
You look like you could sleep it off. Yeah. Come on. Later that day, Ziggy's trying to give Chris a message. Hey, Zig. You're missing something, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You're missing your little mate. That massive cyst has gone. The new improved Ziggy is ready to be reunited with Lee. Hey, Ziggy! He's oh, come through really well. Fantastic. Not only do you get Ziggy home, you actually get... Oh, you did keep it for me? The very special gift that you were requesting. Fantastic. So, Oh, that's disgusting. As for the biopsy results, they're all clear. People are going to stop staring at him. I'll stop being embarrassed. He'll probably stop being a bit embarrassed as well, which is good. Good for his confidence. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.